Around the metro area, roads were clear to drive relatively early in the day. And uh, with most of the schools closed and many people uh, not going to work because of the weather, the malls were more crowded than normal for a Tuesday. Pat Silvello shows us how some of you spent the day off. The plows were still removing snow when shoppers started showing up. Snowed in, nothing to do, so Erin Joffrey took her two little ones to Tyson's Corner. We had a snow day, but not enough snow to play in the snow. Both her children, Aiden and Gwyneth, go to D.C. schools. No classwork today, just a chance to check out some of the toys on the list. Others enjoyed some window shopping. Of course, the stores are loving it because, as you may remember, they lost a couple days of shopping. Black Friday this year came late. It's better than being at home because there's lots to do at the mall. We got to see Santa. We got a treat. Um, we're going to go and ride on the train. Skip Shaw doesn't understand any of it. He's visiting from western Pennsylvania. The couple inches on the ground is nothing. We go to work, we go to school, we come home and play in the snow. A different world down here, a little on the extreme, he says, but he understands why people would choose the mall. At Tyson's 2 across the street, Stephanie Scruggs had planned on taking the kids out of school because she had not seen them in a while. I'm able to spend the whole day with them and also come to the mall and the kids can see Santa. The two older ones get to sit there and do Rainbow Loom while they wait for their mom to get their hair cut. The mother of four just got back from a work trip. She had been gone a week and a half. This is a great, great respite from work and uh, regular life. She's hoping if they still have the energy, they can go back home, play in the snow, while she and dad can sip on some hot chocolate. In Tyson's Corner, Hatsavella, ABC 7 News.